My name is Rick McIntyre, and uh, I'm the director of the Honors Program, and I'm also professor of economics. And uh, these days, I'm mostly an administrator, so uh, I usually teach one honors course a year, whatever that may be, and that changes from year to year. Lately, I've been teaching a freshman seminar on the economic crisis that started in the U.S. a couple of years ago. Right now, this semester, I teach a graduate course in international and comparative labor relations, which is my field of specialization. And I came to URI in the late 1980s, before you all were born. My main job now is to be the director of the Honors Program, which is to be the person who sort of convenes this set of activities that um, occurs here, which is the Honors Colloquium, the Honors Curriculum, the undergraduate courses that we teach, um, the National Fellowship Advising that we do, the Pre-Med Advising that we do, and then all the other advising that we do to try to make it possible for high-performing, hard-working students to really kind of reach for the stars. I mean, that's, that's what I think of as my main job. My other job is to teach and continue to write in, um, in political economy and the kind of weirdo economics that, that I do, um, and to, to work with students um, in that capacity. My research is in the area from whence I came, which is kind of philosophically informed, historically informed, political economy. Um, that's what I continue to do. I, this place I'm interested in as kind of a hub on campus for really ambitious, smart students who are in all different areas, uh, every college, every department. And I've, I've always been somebody who was uncomfortable being confined to a discipline myself. Um, if you're an economist, you're supposed to think a certain way and do things a certain way. And I, I just, you know, it's just economics is not that interesting, um, the, at least the way it's conceived of for the most part in, in the U.S. today. So I've always been interested in other fields. And here, I mean, I've learned a lot from uh, students that I've had in... Um, the, the sciences, the natural sciences, the arts, uh, humanities students. Um, so it's, it's kind of an ideal intellectual culture for me, although I don't, I don't do research uh, on honors stuff. Um, but through my connections to various groups, I've been able to help students get jobs and internships. And so for the students who are interested in political economy and labor and the stuff that the honor students who are interested in the things that I'm interested in, I can work with them and help them. Um, but my research is kind of separate. There was a time when, um, you know, when John Maynard Keynes or Karl Marx or some of the economists of the past were people who had a lot of facility with the arts and with literature and with poetry and um, that informed what they did. They still wrote as political economists, but it informed what they did and they were able to use those kind of references in their work. This has kind of disappeared uh, for the most part as disciplinary boundaries have gotten tighter. And I've just never been very interested in, in those boundaries and in fact I probably take pleasure in transgressing them. Um, and so that's kind of the way the humanities have informed me, coming out of rhetoric and philosophy and history and being open to different kinds of writing um, than one normally sees.